The Ambidex gates have closed. Whoa. Round three. Is that what we're on three? I feel Where like are we've we? done. I feel we're in like the middle we've done of nowhere. Three. Right, this is the end of two. This is saying round three will be. Oh, round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star! Star keys are required to open the gates. There's no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Yay! Hey! You had nine points and you chose not to leave, remember? You spoke Latin or something. I don't get it. <laughs> but uh, as many times as we want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. That's enough time to murder! <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> What? You think Zero Junior say something about that? Uh-oh. Howdy, kids! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> remembered me! <laughs> as soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair in solo assignments hop around a bit too... <laughs> Goodbye forever. Oh, Bye. yeah! That guy did exist! <laughs> <laughs> well, what are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm... A loser. Loser. Whoa. <laughs> Just says that. Huh. I'm a red solo party. Cup. It doesn't nice. even have the number anymore. It just says loser. <laughs> oh. I'm a magenta pear. Oh, look. <laughs> Me too! You we get to go together. together! That means we'll be a team this time. Like peanut butter and mayonnaise. Oh gosh, I love peanut butter and mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bad timeline. Hmm. Very telling details about Luna. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we'll do great. Uh, yeah. Peanut butter and mayonnaise, huh? Who's gonna be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. <gasps> not me! They do not appear to be here! I, for instance, am a yellow pair! Who gets deal? <laughs> I hope I don't! Huh? Wait a second! If Luna and Clover are magenta pair, Fi's a cyan pair, and Kay's a yellow pair, the am I supposed to partner with? The Scion pair, I imagine. I am her mysterious partner. Oh, great. Oh, how do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create Scion? Uh, 21. Correct! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> What color would you get by adding your red to that? Black! Correct! <laughs> yeah, 25! <laughs> so you say the next set of chromatic doors are gonna be white? Yes! How do you know? Because I have seen them! After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one! In it was a set of white doors! Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light! That's a very important detail. Yeah, we gotta have a science lesson. The color is what's yeah. reflected off the object. 
Whoa. Okay. Back in 1972, there was an experiment with colors, and they found that if you mix red and blue, you get purple. Wow. I don't they get it. it. <laughs> the monochromatic game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black pear. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Ba 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 ba. You were just following him like a creep. Look at him. <laughs> Look at you creeping around. Wow. Look at he swooty. I'm coming for that robot booty. <laughs> oh, my. How are you going to get to it? No. <laughs> Bonds of steel. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure that there's no. Yeah. Alright. I'm a skip man. I'm 100% sure that there's the next chromatic doors. Well, what about the people back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes! If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. Why would you do that? I don't like that kid. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what colors they are. As far as pears go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's red solo... <coughs> Then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Hmm. Um, is anyone dead in this timeline? Maybe. I don't think so. We haven't seen the lady, I don't think. This is the good timeline. Everyone lives. Yay. Yay. For now. For now. <laughs> Wait, we got bombs. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's gonna die this time. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. I'm kind of worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it? Go on! I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there's just so much other stuff going on. Like this hurricane. Yeah. I looked at Fi. This hurricane! She nodded back like a <laughs> hurricane. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> she got my jokes. <laughs> See? The truth is... Bad end. <laughs> what? Uh, oh no. You found another bomb? Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I did, did that, that came out I'm wrong. I'm gonna say, I was like, what does he have to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where? In the garden. Nice. No! That's not possible! We didn't see anything like that! Then you just admitted to it! <gasps> I can't go back to jail! <laughs> You'll never take me alive! <laughs> Could you have missed it? No! No way! We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one too. It said oh one. Since the one we found in the crew quarter said oh three on it. Oh, well. You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? No, a second bomb. Oh no. <laughs> I think there's a good chance. Very well! We should split up and find this other bomb! It could be anywhere! Like, 
uh, a lab laboratory, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I do agree, in general, maybe. To the laboratory thing? N sure. Yay! But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? Kick it! Hmm. That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely! We have to fight the bombs! You gotta give it a good smack! <laughs> Come on, everyone! <laughs> Alright, I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please! How about we set a time to meet back here just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see... Wow, you got a meaty arm. Hey, get away from my arm! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it to look like it was my arm. Oh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, it's quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? It sounds good to me. Right! I'll tell the others, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Let's go! Ba 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 Thank you for having different music, because Dio's not with us. Exactly, I don't want to step on his territory. Yeah. It's the... what's it? What's the other Pokemon theme? The... do 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 Finding bombs! Finding bombs! Bombs everywhere! I know where Brock's gym is! Let me go! No! You got normal types! He'll destroy you! Somebody kill me! Careful, he's gonna use the HM for cut. If I just sand attack enough, he can't hit me! Take that Pokemon away from him! <laughs> we didn't find the bombs. Oh, so, so these are white doors that Kate and Clover were talking about. Ah, there's the lock thing. No question, these are chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. Hello. Ah! <laughs> that was actually scary! Oh, when did you- <laughs> The camera moved so fast, it was great. It was faster than the camera. <laughs> she was already in front of you before they did the graphic of like the whooshing, so it was <laughs> like she was in front of you and you turned your head and she moved with you. <laughs> ah! That was so scary. I've been here the whole time. S seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh. I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. And my ears popped out of frustration. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, now I can hear. So what do you want? Why are you stalking? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you do it? You were totally silent. Are you... Batman? That was a translation error. <laughs> error? <laughs> <laughs> I already told you I'm not. Remember? In the very first scene. <laughs> back in the AB room when we met? Yeah. Yeah, actually. Oh! Not Batman. And you weren't Superman or, or Spider-Man either. I'm not it was, a man. <laughs> it was a translation error because they're like, all right, this is either saying Batman or this famous ninja um, mm -hmm. from like Japanese culture. It's one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to mention a magician, but after what happened to Kadabra, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You also jumped super high, all the way up to the ceiling. Oh yeah. 
Right. Aren't you curious about that, graffiti? Graffiti? Someone has defiled the precious Isle Delfino! Fi, get on my back! I'm a chuckster! <laughs> oh yeah, that! Memento Mori if the knife fly and ate the sun! Did the kid write that or what? With my own blood? Uh, Quirk. Why do you Fight. say that? <laughs> well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. Ninth. Ninth. Who puts an ugh in there? You're right. And again, uh, maybe it means something. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what it means? The Latin part? Hey now, give me a little credit. Even I know what men by my bad. I know what it means. I just want to see if you do. <laughs> you see it all over the place, like like Return of the Oprah Din. And Subway. And Subway. <laughs> Written in blood, just like this. Huh. As far as I know, it translates to something like, be aware of death, or remember your mortality. Never forget that we all die someday. Great. I guess it's a sort of cautionary thing. What about the other part? It's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of Traditional about lions and sons. Hmm. Can anything come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Mental war. If the nine of flying at the sun. I repeat the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps Phi. Perhaps. Latin. Huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure out more of it out than me. Well, I know a little, more than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Then how'd you know about that phrase? Oh no, he had a stroke. <laughs> Too much Latin in one day. <laughs> oh, that. That's from, um, this. She unpinned the brooch from her chest as she spoke and held it out to me. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Wow! Look at the back. I turned it over. Whoa. I'll have some similar occasion, my name's Protest Lubrandi! So I guess the. Oh, it sounds like a J in Latin, huh? Spanish. Jupiter. Yeah. It's like Spanish. <laughs> what is this? A memento of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents, and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently, it was the only thing my mother had left behind. Oh. You sad now? What about your father, though? I might be sad. Don't have one. Oh. I guess you could say I was a bastard. Never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. I was sad until you swore. <laughs> oh. Now I just feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. 
That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Boring. Elepsum similocasium non ips potest lupida reprehende. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But... Seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. Still so bored. Okay. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this alone. Yeah. I agree. There's something else we need to do, too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Oh. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started towards one of the exits. Da -da -da -da. I followed. Where did we go? That's why you can't get rid of me, mate. No. Archives. Archives. Have we been in here? We like went through it once, and we didn't care. Uh, we have not been through it. I just checked the chart. Yeah. The archovies. Yum yum yum. Good place to hide a bomb. And a great pizza topping. Oh no. Now where the pizza do we start looking? I doubt it really matters if it's in here. We'll find it eventually. So what about that Lupiter stuff? <laughs> we could tight we can talk while we look. Now get started. I turned to a corner of the room and sobbed. I began to look. <laughs> oh, I spoke. <laughs> it's not behind these tears. <laughs> I'll keep looking, though. <laughs> I made you a bomb out of my tears. Will this be good? <laughs> and you kill him. <laughs> I did that while uh, Fi spoke. Good. They're not oh. pies. They're bombs from a bomb <laughs> factory. Oh. <laughs> I'll start I with barely remember. the conclusion I've come to. Our conscientiousness seems to be able to jump through time. No worry. Oh, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. We gotta it's find more... your glasses. Yeah, I do. <laughs> It's more like we move through worlds. Worlds? Yeah. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe. Really. Parallel worlds. Wh what? Are you a Mario speedrunner? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? No. Let's talk about parallel universes. Oh! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> well, kind of. I watched for Rolling Rocks once. <laughs> or twice. You watched mm -hmm. it twice? Because <laughs> he didn't get it the first time. <laughs> Big brain. Oh well. I'll just explain it. Let's say. Hmm. So there's oh. a scuttle bug. 
We can move them to different universes. <laughs> I don't care what it is, but could you move? Uh. Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips. Anything. I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did as she'd ask. Now you're building speed for 12 hours. <laughs> what are my other options? Hug her. Others? <laughs> oh, we can blow a kiss, oh. tap dance, moonwalk. Okay. Blow a kiss, I implore you. <laughs> That's true. This is or the player's dance. choice tap dance is good too. <laughs> Which one? He he uh, says either of these. I, one of the ridiculous ones, please. <laughs> uh, I'll go for tap dance on this one. Okay, I'll tap dance too. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. What? What the hell was that? Wasn't it obvious? I was tap dancing. Uh oh. I thought you were trying to kill a roach or something. A scuttlebutt. What? <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, you wanted to show me your incredible moves, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you could have chosen to moonwalk or scratch your head. How does she know my repertoire? <laughs> <laughs> it's all I got, man. <laughs> Aren't moonwalking and scratching your head kind of different? The details don't matter. Just talking about possibilities here. Mm. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all those things. All of these worlds or realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Check the flowchart, it's split Check. into eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> These are all different endings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh! Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off, on and on into infinity. Each of those branches is an alternative world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made a different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? That wasn't really a choice of mine. What if you hadn't started a study group? Oh yuck! What if you hadn't told the girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are those other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway, that's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot for you. I don't get it. Okay. You give me a background picture like that, I'm not gonna get it. It doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. Clearly that didn't work. Ugh. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these things change history. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide. There's no way that air is conscious of anything. Can you say that for sure that you are? <gasps> what? All of our ac all of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms, or electrons, or small, smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision? At that level, how different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Oh. Oh. Scientific Human. way of calling someone an airhead. <laughs> But I think, therefore, I'm, I, I am. Despite everything, it's still you. <laughs> it is me. <laughs> Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. 
See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's where universes branch out. Am I blowing uh, your mind? My <laughs> it does hurt a lot. Ow! Owie. That really hurt. Ow! Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? <laughs> oh. Uh, no. Not yet. I kind of just had an aneurysm. Yeah, I had to bleed somewhere. Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? <laughs> Kill me! Da -da 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 -da. I want to die! <laughs> so what you're saying is we need a BLJ out of bounds so we can see the bombs. Mm-hmm. That's correct. No. Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm, let's see. Hey, hand me that box, will you? This one? Sure. I handed the box I'd been examining over to her. She set it on fire down on the desk and opened the top. Also, hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of. Phil. Phil Day? Philly Day, too? Philly Day. Phila. Phila. Feline Day. Yay! Yay! <laughs> With that, she grabbed the lion and tossed it unceremoniously into the box. I put that box in another box. <gasps> no! She also took away in an ink jar and put them in next to the lion. Oh no, he might draw something. No. <laughs> All right, everything's ready. Ready? Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What, what about looking for the... This will only take a minute. No. Now look. No. <laughs> so they take a minute. I sobbed and peered into the box. <laughs> what do you see? Well, there's a stuffed lion. From now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Got it? Yeah, it's a cat meow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Help! Oh, man. This again? Sorry. I can't help it! I find that hard to believe. Ugh, fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, what else do you see? Oh, uh, wait, that's not even a pound. <laughs> and a jar of ink. Right. Now the weight is gonna be radioactive material. And that jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? I'm kitten out of here! Idiot. It's not really full of gas, and that's not really a cat. This is just hypothetical. But then why am I stuck punning? <laughs> The powerful curse! <laughs> Imagine that it's full of gas. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink? It's full of poison gas. Exactly. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking inside his brain. Huh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there is a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. 
Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously, you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproof, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there, and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if an alpha particles hit the jar? It breaks, gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? The cat lives to tell the tale. Haha. <laughs> And what are the chances of either of those things happening? About 50 percent. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um... Apples or bananas? Apples or, or bananas? Or, or Durango's? Um, apples or bananas? Do, do you want to see me tap dance? <laughs> I can moonwalk too. I'm I'm optimistic. It's alive. He says alive. What about you, PCM? Yay, alive! All right, it's dead. It's alive. Ah. <laughs> the cat is powers for dramatic effect. Alive! Nope. You're wrong. He's dead? That's wrong too. <laughs> then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it's neither dead nor alive. <laughs> what? Was that under E? Ah! <laughs> How does that make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they are emitted or where we only know the possibility that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities... Then it's both alive and dead. Right. So let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Uh. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Uh. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining what that weirdness. So, there's another world out there where this cat died? Yeah, that's the idea. Oh. Great! Did you learn oh. anything, kids? No. Great! We should have brought Dio. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the cat tick of yours cleared up. Yeah. Well, your story was pretty insane. She cured me from this curse. <laughs> insane? You don't think so? Just... The idea of someone being alive and dead at the same time. And if the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead, then... It's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. 
Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? Death. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose betray? What was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose ally and you chose betray. Right. And both times I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. <laughs> yeah, I got a procrastination problem. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, that makes sense. This is a little easier to explain. If you chose betray, then my vote was ally. If you chose ally, then my vote was betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? That my choice in the future altered your action in the past? Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Oh. Now that I've thought about it, uh -oh. round one had been the same. Think, brain, think. When I chose an ally, Alice had chosen betray. Because I feel like it. And when I chosen betray, she'd done the opposite. Look at this die. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. In case you're not bored yet. <laughs> Look at this. Now die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. Alright, answer this question. What number is the die on? Uh, uh oh! Guys, we gotta figure this out. Use your statistics and math to, to, to determine it. This is necessary to get the true ending. Is it weighted? Um, mm. um, every die has a a 17.6 chance of it's six. Six? He says six. What do you say, PCM? <laughs> One is funny looking. Okay, well I'm I'm split in half, so I gotta go like halfway. And I gotta flip a <laughs> coin. <laughs> Take it! If we can get him. Uh, this is a Reggie. It has to be four, I've decided. Okay, I'm gonna open the lid. Good job. You got it right. That was just a fluke. I'm, I'm not happy. Was it? Huh? Let's think about what's going on before I open the lid. What number was the die on? Four, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying that before you open the lid, the die was on all the numbers? Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. And then when you open the lid, it was just one number! Or it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Uh-huh? Freaking out, man! Ah! <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. Crazy! Graveyard Nary. Yeah, exactly. The who approached me, he got leery. <laughs> <laughs> Not Larry! Oh. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping, 
our consciousness just sort of dive into the other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa. I think I get it now. It's a lie. I'm just trying to get her to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, bye. That's how you knew my name, right? You would jumped in from another world. Whoosh. And that's how you knew all those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah. That's the best I could figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we may only remember particularly important things? I'm not sure how it works. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asks us how, how we know X, all they can think of to say is just, I just knew. Yeah. What's causing this then? I don't remember ever doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having us so much trouble. It's just... Just what? Well, I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior is trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cap book in the crew quarters? Um, you aren't kidding, are you? <laughs> Maybe this is some sort of huge Schroeder's cat exper exper experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right meow. What if you got it backwards? Backwards? We're outside of the box, and the rest of the world is inside. Then the moment we step out of this place... Yeah, we might be determining the history of the world outside. No way! I had a thousand other questions, but before I could open my mouth to ask them... I couldn't, the find <laughs> I couldn't find the picture I was looking for, but I okay. did find a Twitter that says, like, does this visual novel have Schrodinger's cat in it? Because it's such a common trope. <laughs> Not this cat again. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought I'd share that with you real quick. Hello. It's, it's cute. Schrodinger's cat's in visual novels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> This just in, a uh, local girl uses her knowledge of multiple realities to blow a himbo's mind. Uh, himbo? <laughs> my brain's not big enough for this information! Now you're a smart boy. You, you can't even fight me on that. Sigma is absolutely a himbo. <laughs> you're not <laughs> he's, wrong. He's got a good memory, but he's not smart in, like, any other aspect. <laughs> I, I go to college, yeah. but I don't. I don't want to. That's a fair before. point. Yeah. What if he started that study group? Hmm. What if? <laughs> then somebody else would have got snagged in the nonary game. It's true. Oh, good. Parallel universes. Oh no, not you two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We got some scuttlebugs to raise. <laughs> Did something happen? Yes. We found it. Found what? We found out how to beat it with only half an A press. Yay. Okay, I found it. Still an A press. What, what do you mean, what? What else could we find? That is that for later, I guess. <laughs> Bomb. The other antimatter bomb. The number two bomb is in the control room. Whoa, we were there, right? How did we miss it? Ah! Because you didn't. Oh! 
Uh, is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number oh two, apparently. Uh, at least we found them all now. No, there could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Did you tell anyone else about this clover? Not really, but uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Hey, Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Oh, who was in the infirmary? Yeah, everyone. And Miyoji and Dio were there. Yeah. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. There's nobody else here, though. Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to look for you two. Oh, what about Alice and Quark, my other two characters? Not the same. Oh. Still sleeping. All right, thank you. Awful. <laughs> but what if they're not asleep when you go back in the room? There's a 50% chance. <laughs> no! No! The universe is collapsed and you find out. There's a 50% chance, but there's two of them. So that makes like four possible outcomes. Which makes a quarter for each one. Or does it? But what about the other people? They could fall asleep. No! No! <laughs> Yeah, what if you get there and only Alice is alive? Mm. Okay, look, someone else can open the door when we get there. <laughs> I don't feel do comfortable, this. right, meow? <laughs> right, right, meow. <laughs> <laughs> we checked them out just to be sure, but they seem fine. That's good. Fine, I looked at one another, and I looked at the ceiling, and let out a small sigh of relief. <gasps> We checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? No. Well, it took her only a moment to explain. Unlike <laughs> Fi! <laughs> Alice was a green solo. And Quark was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow perlo. Yeah! And Tenmyoji's was a cyan perlo. So, uh, what are our options for groups? The next set of doors to open are gonna be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Finally, that what that would mean. Okay. Option A! Fly and ten Myoji sign would pair with me, Red. K and Dio yellow would pair with Quark Blue. <laughs> Clover and Luna Magenta would pair with Alice Green. Huh? There's only one option? There always was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, any other combinations don't make white. Oh, what about Alice and Quark? Luna said it's going to be a while until they wake up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without the three bracelets. And if we can't open them... Yeah, we'll get penalized. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you saying you can carry her? Bro, 
I can bench like 400. Yo! Come at me, scrub lord, I'm ripped. Dang. I can get Luna to help me. True, I'm sure she'd be happy to help. She just makes Luna carry her by herself. <laughs> carry me too! Onward! <laughs> I'd okay. love to help. <laughs> Did I ask for your opinion? <laughs> Shut up and move, loyal steed! <laughs> yeah! What about Quark? He's heavy as all get out. He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Oh. I eat my vegetables. Oh my gosh. He's incredible. Wow. <laughs> well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do about this bomb. Alice said we should be as safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe, but we can't just leave him here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers can get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? That's not American. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> that bomb should only have about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT. Which has nothing to sniff at. That's nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just like the detonator? Uh oh. Oh. Oh! You mean there might be a bunch more anti hydrogen around here somewhere? Yeah, right over there. The reactor. Yeah. There's supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti hydrogen. How much is a lot? Two. Three and a half oh. kilograms. That is a lot. Th Three and a half? That's like 21. Whoa. I'm smart. More than analysis to fruit nugget. That's like more than two. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> if there really is that much. And if it does explode, why am I smiling about this? Then we would be looking at an explosion roughly. 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. No. Yes. America. America. <laughs> oh, that, that's insane. Clover is right to smile, though. We'll have front row seats. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Dang! Pose for your shadow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Clover, how did you know that? You no, know what? I'm not suspicious. The stuff about the antimatter reactors? Um, well, that's, uh, during my training day. <laughs> training for what? The Olympics! Uh, oh. my, my job? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I didn't realize waiters these days need to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors there were worldwide. It's in the handout. Oh my bad. Sorry. Go off. <laughs> or how much fuel each one of those reactors might be storing. Excuse me, I'm a cashier. <laughs> oh. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? You just told me, Fox Boy. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, um. She's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? So. 
What do we call the coffee machines? Are you making coffee for me? Sure, you want some? I want <laughs> it's hot. Thank you. Huh. Made with antimatter. <laughs> wow, this is not great. Mm -mm. <laughs> the taste is explosive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might um be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. What? Then what's your real job? Uh, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. Classified by who? The government. The government? The government. That's right. Alice said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. No. Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? What are you talking about? The perfect distraction. How long until the door is open? Oh, she got me, but I can't stop checking. <laughs> Come on, quickly! Fifty-five! We were supposed to have met up five minutes ago! Well, I guess they're dead. Let's go. Understandable. I'm heading back then. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Why don't we go together? Uh, because I don't want to. Bye! Bye. Oh. Hey! You Just have... <laughs> disappears. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get your Schrodinger's cat lecture from Fi! <sighs> Darn it. She disappeared before the door opened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And she's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get going. Hold on. No. I need to check something really quick. No. 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 Hold what? on. No. No, 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 no.